Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This is a Dell in Precision 3530 model. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can clean up the fan system, the heatsink and replace your CPU. By doing the servicing you're not changing anything in the system, everything's going to be left the way that you had it before so there's no configuration or anything like that. So don't worry about that. All right, first thing first, you want to power off the computer completely. And you want to flip it upside down. Now we're going to grab ourselves a screwdriver set. I see that some people try to open it and they have damaged the screw heads. So we're going to see if we can remove those screws. So that's why a proper screwdriver is very must. So I'll be using on a fixed screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits and for every screw. So we're going to grab a Phillips number one and all the screws in here they have a little C-lock. The C-lock what it is, it will hold the screw from the other side but it will not prevent it from coming out entirely. So all you need to do is just rotate and rotate, rotate until you feel like the screw is really loosened up and that's it. If you keep rotating, nothing is going to happen. You're just going to keep doing that until you get really sore. So we're going to rotate all the screws and make sure they are really loosen up. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps I'm always me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we loosen up all the screws, including the one in the middle, we're gonna use that guitar pick as an opening tool. And we are going to stick it in a corner and just plug it in there and lift it up. Once you lift it up from one corner, all you need to do is to work yourself, gently lift it up. And then you're going to feel this tension. If you see more tension is not coming out, that means you have to rotate more the screw. And there we have it. And you might hear a few click pips, click sounds. That's fine. Those are the clips on the corners that are getting loosened up. So remove this bottom cover and you can take it outside with a toothbrush you can clean it up all the tools that i'll be using will be in the video description in case you want to purchase now i'm gonna go with one of the main tools alcohol 99 percent or 98 percent isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol i use a new toothbrush a workshop towel is a is a must as a workshop towel the reason is people keep asking me in the comments if they can use our microfiber towels and that's a big no-no. The reason is because when you use them in a workshop towel and you put an alcohol over and you try to clean the CPU, the motherboard, this will rip apart and will, will prevent the damage on the components. But if you use a microfiber towels, they will get tangled on the tiny capacitors and they can damage them. So use a workshop towel. One sheet of that and a good thermal paste. You can use an Arctic MX4, MX6. Those are good or you can go over the budget and go with Thermo Grizzly Extreme Edition. But honestly, for this brand, MX4 or MX6, it's really good, sweet spot. All right, down here we can see the motherboard, the fan, and the heatsink two pipe over the CPU, GPU, and the intake and exhaust. And the battery is right away here. First thing first, we want to disconnect the battery. Grab this gaffer, stay whatever it's left, and lift it upward. Somebody pull this one is dam is damaged, but it's okay as long as you pull this handle upward, you can disconnect the battery. Just pull it over. Now you're gonna use the same screw, and we're gonna start unscrewing the screws for the heatsink. There are four on the CPU and two on the GPU. All right, once you remove that one, you don't want to grab it from the back. You want to grab it in the middle. And you just want to lift it up. The old thermal paste is really stuck, so lift it up from the jet up and down, loosen up. And now you can feel it that it's loosen up and leave it like that. Don't need to yank it, but you still need to remove the fan. Remove two screws for the fan. I think this screw has a seal lock, or it's just not coming out. This one did come out, so no, they do come out. Sometimes just the plastic is not letting them come out. Now we're gonna lift up the Heat sink and move it to one side so we can we have the connector. We're gonna grab a tweezers. Do not yank on the cables, just put a tweezers or your fingers at the side of this jack and pull them backward. Just like this. Wiggle them around. 
brand, you can disconnect the jack. So you are pulling from the jack. I'm not pulling from the cables. And there we have it. You see this thermal paste? It is gone. There's nothing left over. And there's nothing right away here. So that's why it was overheating. Before we do anything, we're going to put the towel in here. And we're going to take a look. Inside, you can take this one outside. Use a toothbrush to clean up the fans. And blow some air and clean it out. And you can remove the gaffer's tape. It's called a gaffer's tape. It looks like a fabric on the back side. You can remove it. You can reuse it if you want to. Now to remove the fan, you will need to remove a few screws. One screw right there, there. And I don't think so there is any screw over here. There should be. No, there's a clip right there. So we're gonna remove those screws. Those are double zero. So I'll remove one screw right over here. So a really tiny screw. So remove the second screw. Now, there's a tiny gaffer tape right by the connection right in here. You wanna remove this one. And now there's a tiny clip hook right in here. And we want to unhook it, and the fan should come out very easy. Let me see if there's a hook down here. Yep, there's a hook right under the gaffer tape. So unhook this side. So there's a two hooks in here, and two screws on the other side. You can see yours if yours is really filled up with that dust, and use a toothbrush and clean it. Clean up the fan system, everything, and bring once it's done, bring it back. Put it over. I will reopen this one later on and I will take my time cleaning it. But again, for cleaning, is a toothbrush and blow some air through this uh, heat sink. All right. There is no need for gaffer tape to put it back on. It's not a necessary, but if you have it, go ahead and put it. If not, not a big deal. It's not going to decrease performance or anything like that. Put the screws. Do not tighten up too much the screws. These are really tiny, otherwise, you're going to. Damage the threads on the screws. Once that one is done, now we're gonna clean up the old thermal paste. Grab a little bit of workshop towel, soak it in an alcohol, put a little bit on top of this one and that one. The thermal pads are one millimeter thermal pad in case you wanna replace it. So just swipe, wipe. As long as you clean the crystal die, you're fine. You see how this one rips apart and will not damage the components. Now there's a tiny capacitor on the GPU and I'm gonna wipe over this one with no fear. Just go around and around and look at this, how it rips apart, but it will not damage the board. Again, you don't need to go ahead and be crazy and cleaning up the all around the CPU. As long as you clean the crystal die, you're fine. All right? So go ahead and this one is really dried up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use an spatula, not a metal, a plastic spatula. And it will help to remove, loosen up the old thermal paste that is really dried up. Now we're going to apply the thermal paste, one line on the CPU, and one drop right on the GPU. All right, once you're done with that one, now all you need to do is to grab the heat sink, put it, align it first, make sure it goes right under this plastic right there, and then just drop it over, hold it there. Now first we're going to put a cross screw them. We're gonna put the two screws on the heatsink on the CPU first, cross screw them always. So we start from one corner and put the one right on the opposite side. So the reason is for this cross screwing is for the thermal paste evenly will get spread over the CPU and GPU. So once we cross screw these ones, we're gonna do the GPU, doesn't matter which one you there's only two of them, so it doesn't matter which one you start with. Don't forget the jack for the fan. Slide it in there, and then you want to 
pinch it all the way inside the connector. And last thing down here would be to just grab the battery connector and just slide it, push it right over and leave it there. And to top it off, finish it off, is to grab the bottom cover that you cleaned, put it over, push down the front, make sure you don't nice big click sounds, in the back, tiny click sounds, and then tighten up the screws. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next videos. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws, and that should cut off today's video.